Hello, <clears throat> this is Bob Gray Sr. Welcome to Ministry Moments. Every Friday, Lord willing, at three o'clock central time, we'll have this broadcast. And so you join us, go to Ministry Moments YouTube and subscribe. That way you'll get it automatically every week, just like that. And then you can go to solvechurchproblems.com and you'll find so much, uh, not only Ministry Moments available there, but you will uh, find uh, sermons. We went all the way back to 1980 when I first came to Texas. And so you'll be able to follow the progress in those days, which was really miraculous, really. And uh, then we have Q&A, over almost 3,000 questions and answers that might be of help to you. Daily quote, MEMS, we've got those little, I'm not sure, I'm not pronouncing it, but M-E-M-E. -E -E. You'll see those, and then you'll see uh, ministry ideas every day. And a lot that will be of help to you, and you can check on our material, our books, and so on, especially that last book the, that we uh, printed, The Lost Commandment, <clears throat> about honor disappearing. Uh, honor is putting the weight down on the good, and we are commanded honor, and it's the first uh, commandment with promise of long life. So today, <clears throat> we're starting a new year, and I want to talk to you about tightening the family budget tightening the family budget. And I want you to get some pens out and paper and jot this down. Very practical, practical helps. Every January, <clears throat> I would teach uh, stewardship. Uh, we would uh, teach it in Sunday school every Sunday. We would preach on it. We would teach very practical lessons on Wednesday night throughout the month to try to be a blessing and help to the, to the folk about this matter of handling the budget properly and uh, being blessed of God. So get your pen out. I want to talk to you today about tightening the family budget. <laughs> You've blown it on Christmas, and now you're going to have to figure a way to balance this thing out. But I think if you listen to very practical help, it might be of help to you. Tightening the family budget. Number one, total your bills. Some of you take your bills, put them in a drawer, shut the drawer, and say, even so, come quickly, Lord Jesus. And he hasn't come yet. I remember Dr. Rice at Hiles Anderson was eating lunch in a cafeteria and uh, a student walked up and Dr. Rice uh, was eating and he said, Dr. Rice, pray for us. We're having finals next week. Pray that Jesus will come. Dr. Rice never broke stride. He just kept eating and uh, he stopped and said, son, if Jesus wouldn't come when I'm having finals, he's not going to come when you're having finals. I laughed. I thought that was hilarious. Uh, number one, total your bills. Know what you're dealing with. Number two, Assign uh, different weeks for paying certain bills. Have envelopes uh, for week one, week two, week three, week four. <clears throat> and uh, work it out to where before the due date that you're, you're putting away the money and you're setting aside so that you'll be able to pay it on time, if not ahead of time. So number one, total your bills. Number two, assign different weeks for paying bills or setting aside for the payment of bills. Next, use an envelope system. Uh, if we're going to go back and get this thing cleared up and get uh, get back on top side and get on the top of this issue of your bills and money, then you're going to, to, I suggest, I have suggested, use an envelope system, week one, week two, week three, week four, and thank God for that fifth week. But uh, I would put on the outside of the envelope each bill and uh, when it's due, and I would put divide the money up and put them into those envelopes each week. Number four, I would suggest to you, if we're going to get on top of this thing, you're having trouble, you're struggling, start using money orders. <clears throat> Use money orders in places where you do a place of business. They won't charge you for that. We have the East Texas Credit Union here. They don't charge me for money orders. And I'm talking about simplistically approaching this. Oh, this is such a big thing not paying your bills, getting behind and get to, that pressure is just too much. So we're talking about tightening the family budget. Number one, total your bills. Number two, assign different weeks for payment of bills. Uh, divide it up into four weeks and four different sets of envelopes. Next, use an envelope system. Number four, use money orders. You can bounce checks. You'll end up in serious trouble if you start bouncing checks, the cost of it, and then it just completely gets out of hand. The way to avoid that, I suggest, is that you use money orders. Number five, stop using credit cards. Stop, you know, I understand you can't, there's some things you can't do unless you have a credit card. Well, stop using them. Stop using the credit cards. 
next, um, increased deductibles on your homeowners and car insurance. Increased deductible on your homeowners and car insurance. Uh, every year as a church, we would get bids. Uh, we start a new budget, start a new year. We get bids on different things. Well, that's what you need to do here. You need to increase your deductible and shop around for better homeowners insurance, better car insurance, but increase the deductible so it does not cost you as much. So number one, total your bills. Know what you're dealing with. Number two, assign different weeks for paying certain bills. Number three, use an envelope system and then put divide the money up each week so that you, when you get, it comes time to pay for that bill, you've got the money to do it. Number four, use money orders. Get away from the checks because when you start bouncing them, it's going to cost you and in some places, they'll arrest you. They'll throw you in jail. In Texas, they will. All right. Uh, next, stop using credit cards. You said, but I have to have a credit card for travel or whatever. I understand that. But don't you just stop using them. You're using them. Every time you go out to eat, you're using them. Don't do it. Next, increase deductibles on your homeowners and car insurance. Number seven, um, buy sale items. Look for sale items. My wife, every year after Christmas, would start buying for the next Christmas. Uh, when we were able to do it, got submitted now, we can't do it now. But uh, it, it's after Christmas over. That's when all the sales take place. Boy, we make a lot of good deals. And, and really, if you pace yourself during the year, you can get everything you need for the following Christmas. But sale items, that's what you want to look for. Number eight, compare uh, bank service fees. Compare bank service fees, shop around. Um, I, I want to get better interest rates and I would negotiate with a bank and, and just say, look, I need to get a cheaper interest or I'm going somewhere else. And you can shop around. Service fees are very expensive. So service fees, but shop, compare bank service fees and move if you have to, to another bank to get something cheaper, save you money. All right. So number one, we're talking about tightening the family budget. Number one, total your bills. Number two, assign different weeks for paying certain bills. Have an envelope of four different sets of envelopes uh, and, and separate your bills into four period of payment periods. All right, next, use money orders. Get away from the checking account. Next, stop using credit cards. Quit it. It's 20%, 20 plus percent interest you're, they're charging you. Next, increase deductible on your homeowners and car insurance and shop around for better insurance. Next, buy sale items. Eight, compare bank service fees, shop around. Uh, number nine, use coupons. We had a lady every year, she would teach uh, our ladies about using coupons. Oh my goodness, it was amazing what she could do. She uh, taught the ladies how you could get $100 worth of groceries for something like $18, $20. It was amazing. She still does it to this day. And so Learn to use coupons. There are enough people uh, that you can go to on the internet to search this out. That'll help you with that. But ladies, learn to use coupons. Next, carpool to work and school. You've got, uh, uh, you could carpool with folks to work. That'll save you money. And you still need to pay, help them with the gas, but it helps everybody. And then with school, you got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Well, carpool with other parents to that school, and that will save you, you money. Number 11. Aren't you proud of me? This is the end, number 11. Aren't you proud of me? Uh, let someone else control your, your money. If, you're, if you are behind the eight ball, is that a spiritual term? You're behind the eight ball financially. You uh, let someone else control. I had uh, several staff members who were just experts in this thing, personal finances. And when people got themselves in serious trouble, I didn't have time myself, but I would call up the staff and say, would you help brother Mrs. So-and-so? And, and they would and help them to get out. Now you have to trust them. You've got to allow them to make the hard decisions for you and to live. It's tough that first, oh my gosh, that first year is tough on a family, but you've got to, you've got to bite the bullet. You've got to be able to say, I am going to do this. And it, it's a lot of pain at first, but oh, when you start seeing the end result of it, it's going to be a blessing for sure. Okay. We're talking about tightening the family budget. Number one, total your bills, know what you're dealing with. Number two, assign different weeks for paying bills. I, I, number three, I would use an envelope system. So if you're gonna, you're gonna get control of this thing, I'll use an envelope system. So you have sets of envelopes for the first week, second week, third week, fourth week, 
different uh, items, first week, different items, second, third, and fourth. But I would deposit that money in there every week so that you would be building up the amount that was, is going to come due and you can pay for it and sometimes ahead of time. So total your bills, assign different weeks for paying bills, use an envelope system. Number four, use money orders. Number five, stop using the credit card. Stop it. Stop it right now. All right. Increase deductibles on your homeowners and car insurance and shop around for better insurance. All right. Uh, buy sale items. Buy sale items. And do it ahead of time, like for Christmas for next year. Go ahead and buy things now ahead of time. Save you a lot of money. All right. Next, compare bank service fees and, and shop around. Next, use coupons. Like I said, we had a lady one time, she taught our ladies and taught us the soul winning clinic for years. Oh my goodness, buy $100 worth of groceries and spend $18 to $20. You say, it can't be done. Yes, it can. And there's some people on the internet that can help you with that system, that coupon system, but it does make a difference. Uh, next, carpool to work and to school. Carpool to work and to school. Next, let someone else control your money. If you, If it is out of control, Go to the pastor and say, Pastor, do you have somebody here that can help me? And uh, But it has to be the understanding that they're going to let them control their money because obviously it's out of control and you want somebody else to be able to control it. Your future is as bright as your relationship to how you handle famine. Mammon. Famine. <laughs> if you don't handle mammon, you'll have famine. But you're going to have to get in control of it. And uh, God made it very, very clear about the least of these if you can't control the least and you can't be in control of it you're not god's not going to trust you with true riches so there are people that can help you the pastor can help you if he can't he has somebody that's an expert in that field be glad to help you but let us help you this could be the beginning of a great life for you and your family and so this ministry moments is about tightening the family budget listen to it over and over again and I believe you'll find some little tidbits of truth here that'll be a blessing to you. God bless you. Don't miss now. Tomorrow's soul winning. You go out and you lead somebody to Christ tomorrow. Have them ready for Sunday. But you join me every Friday, would you? Three o'clock Central Time for Ministry Moments. <laughs>